Hello guys, this is another tutorial for smart physics problem. Um, this problem will be the AC circuit one. Uh, we did one before, but they name it the same one. Okay, so this circuit has a generator, AC generator, and has inductor, a resistor, and capacitor. Okay, they gave us the omega for the circuit, and they gave us the voltage for the generator. Okay, you can see the question down in the description. Okay, so the first question they're asking us is what is the Z, the impedance of the circuit? Okay, what is the Z? The Z will be equal to the square root of R squared plus LX plus actually it's XL XL plus XC, this one's squared. But well, what is the Z? Fast. The Z is the. This is the Z. When we add those, this is XO minus XC. So this is the Z. This is the R. So just Pythagoras rule. Anyway, so how do we get the XL? XL is equal to. L omega and this guy was sixty one point fifty two ohm and for the X C is equal to one over C omega and for this guy I got ninety four point seven eight ohms Okay, and we have the R, and we just have to, this is actually minus, and we just have to calculate the XL minus XC, okay, so R squared plus XL minus XC squared, and take the square root of that, of Z, and for this guy I got... 33.26 ohms for the Z. This is, so this is the impedance of the circuit. Okay, the second question is asking, number two, they're asking what is the I max of the circuit? Okay, so since we have the impedance, we can calculate the I max by dividing the voltage of the generator divided by the impedance. Okay. So that's 120 by 33.26. And for this guy I got 0.5. This is not the right value for this. This the right value for the this one for the XL minus XC. For this one I got 72.12 ohms. So this one's 72.12 ohm, and I got, what was it, you'll get the value, I'll give it to you in a minute, uh, we'll wait, it's 1.663 up here, okay, so going to number three, it's asking about what is the phi? The phi of the circuit. So the phi of the circuit is the the angle here. We're gonna find. But actually, if you look at it and you do the XL minus XC, you'll find it that the Z is going down. The Z is going like this way. So this is kind of the uh, the angle for this. So this this one. This one is following this, which is the R, the, vo the voltage, the R, this is the generator voltage. Okay. So, so the angle between these two, we can find it by just doing the cosine. So cosine of, cosine phi is the R over the Z. 
r over z. Just take the cosine and verse r over z. And you will get, well, my number I got, what is my phase? Uh, it was 27.5 degree. Okay. So going to number four, they are asking what is T1 the first time after T equals zero when the voltage across the inductor is zero. Okay, so they want the inductor equal to zero. So when we when we actually write the or draw the voltage the voltage what do you call it? The voltage diagram. Okay. So the voltage diagram this is the uh, oops. the voltage diagram. Now the the VR is going this way, and this is V27.5, and this is the max, and it's always perpendicular to the VR, this is the VR, the V, VL, and here is the VC, okay. All right, so they want the voltage. What is the time after time equals zero? The voltage on the inductor will be zero. So it's kind of we need to find the time where this will reach this point here. Okay. So now it's like this. If we go back here, so time equal the distance over speed or velocity anyway so the distance here is the in radian because we have omega the speed so the omega so the speed is omega here and then we have to find like this n distance in radian okay so what is the what is the angle here the angle here is uh, this is 27.5 minus 90 you will get 62.5 Okay, we need to change this to radian. So the way I do it is 62.5 What is it? If 180 is pi Okay, and you get for this a number so it's pi times 62.5 over 180 and then Plug in this number back here at the top I got for this one 1 1.0908 and divide this by the omega so the time I got was 0 0.001468 you need to actually put like four numbers here in order to get right so this is in second okay and the number five is just multiple question and number six it's a time question but I'll try to do my best to figure this out. Okay, the way I did it is, so number six for this, is when I was looking at, at the pre-lectures, we need to find, like in order to find any voltage, like they need the voltage across the capacitor at time equal zero. So in order to do that, when you look back at this, we need to find the the projection of it so it's kind of this this section like this line here we need to find this so what is the angle here since this is 90 so it's the same part same angle so it's 60 what was it 62.5 okay so to find the the, the voltage across the cap capacitor at time equals zero, you need to find the sine of the max of the capacitor. So the max of the capacitor is like I XC, which is, this is I max, which is 
I over WC omega C. Okay. So when you find the value, the max value of the the capacitor, you need to multiply it by the by the sine of the of this angle in order to find it at time equal zero. Okay. So so I max over WC times sine wt and then like here I'm not sure if it is minus or plus I'll get back to you with this I'll write it somewhere over here but here's a way to do it so this is the angle between this part and this part which is 90 minus the phi which, which is for me is 62.5 Okay. And then you will get the voltage across the capacitor at time equal zero. But I'll I'll make sure of this. Uh, this one will be equal to zero. This part because it's time equal zero. So it's either gonna be minus or plus because in the question they are asking if it's a minus or plus the the voltage across the capacitor. Okay. Alright, cool, and hope this helps, and good luck.